With the enhanced Replace Colors filter and the new Adjustments Docker, both introduced in CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2021, you can edit images with greater control. The new color wheel and interactive range control allows for non-destructive, precise adjustment of hue and saturation of the replaced color. The Replace Colors filter is available in both Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. For my first example, I'm in Photo Paint with this image, and I want to change the color of the flower. The Replace Colors filter is available in the Adjustments Docker, which I can open by choosing Window, Dockers, Adjustments, or by clicking the plus sign along the list of open dockers. If Replace Colors isn't listed, I can click the Add Adjustment icon and turn on that filter. I'll click the original eyedropper to sample the color to change, and I'll set the new color to a light blue. On the color wheel, the default saturation range leaves out the lighter reds. When I hover over the various edges of the highlighted range, white borders appear where ranges can be adjusted. I can move either saturation border for different effects. The full saturation range includes all of the red pixels I want to change to blue. I can also drag the hue handle to change the original color, and the hue range side borders can be adjusted as well to include a narrower or wider range of hues. The smooth slider can be used to adjust the color transition between changed and unchanged pixels. If I don't love the new color, I can adjust the target hue and change saturation and lightness as well. Like all adjustments, Replace Colors is non-destructive. I can toggle it on and off and add more filters as well. Adjustments are also listed on the Effects Docker, where they can be toggled on and off, reordered, selected and deleted, or edited. For example, I can move the hue and adjust the hue range to change the background colors instead. The previous example showed how to replace colors throughout an entire image. But in this example, I want to replace the color of just the red building without affecting other red areas, such as the roof tiles, bricks around the window, and other spots. So I'll open the Replace Colors filter, click the Options icon, and choose Local Adjustment Mode. This activates the most recently used mask tool, which in my case is Brush Mask, though any mask tool can be used for a local adjustment. I'll start the interaction by sampling the original red and setting its replacement hue. My brush mask is in normal mode. I'll adjust the brush size by dragging with the Alt key pressed and paint the effect only on the red facade. I'm purposely leaving a bit of red outside the mask. With the local adjustment already defined, I can now increase the saturation range, increase smoothness, and adjust saturation and lightness. There are now three options for displaying this effect. Off, On, and if I control click in the box, the mask will be displayed, which is handy if I need to make any adjustments to the mask. I can work with the mask marquee turned off as well by choosing Mask, Mask Marquee. There are a few spots left out of the mask, so I'll switch to Additive Mode, and brush over those pixels. Replace Colors is a feature in Corel Draw as well. I have this imported bitmap of a vector image, and with the bitmap selected, I'll choose Effects, Adjust, Replace Colors. In the Replace Colors window, I can zoom and pan directly on the preview, or while preview is checked, I can see the results on the image itself. The interaction here is the same. I'll sample the color to change and set the new color. And because I only want one color changed, I'll check Single Color, which disables the color wheel since it's not needed for a single color change. I'll click OK to finish. Replace Colors in Corel Draw is also non-destructive. In the Properties Docker, with the bitmap still selected, I'll open the Effects tab. Here I can toggle the effect, edit it, or select and delete it. Along with other effects, a Replace Colors filter can be added directly from this docker by clicking the plus icon and choosing Adjust, Replace Colors. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on the Replace Color filter in Corel Draw Graphics Suite. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.